Hello, hello, welcome. So this time we will learn how to run a custom query in MySQL and connect return data to this uh, nice little chart we have in a Flutterful page. So I have my MySQL running in AWS, you can have some instance on the server. It, uh, the only condition it must be public available uh, because we will use API flow platform to connect to that MySQL, run custom query, get some uh, summaries of uh, sales from it and show it in our chart in Flutterful app. So I will show you how to do this very fast. I will create a new project and will use MySQL as a service I will connect. And I will give it a name, uh, MySQL sales stats, save it. I will create a new connection. So I will use my sales database, I will name it sales database and what you need you need public mysql address so we have some here database server port is the same database name in my case it's api flow db and i use api flow as my login for database and some password I use for my database, we save this connection and we will use it here. So you can set up default project, publish it, and that's all. You don't need to do anything else here, but we will create a custom flow to run a custom query to get a sales summary. So we go to custom flows tab and create a new flow here. What we need to do next, we need to copy this address, go to photo flow, open API call section, add a new API call. We'll uh, call it get sales stats. We'll use get request and paste address here for our custom flow. And next we need to copy authorization header, go here and add this header. Click add call. We go to response and test and test our API call. So it returns some data, but this is a sample data. So we need to go back, we see this request here and now we can work with our database what we need to do is we want to run a custom query we need to select uh, action run scale query it's pro level but it will be available during a trial for you if you want to test api flow it will be available and next what we need to do we need to choose our sales database and we now we can run our query we can now we can specify our query i will copy it from here so what it do i have a table with some orders data i will show it to you in a moment so it's orders data we have here uh, some order id some products price quantity and category and what i do i query my table my table of orders and for every category i find the sum of price multiplied by quantity of products that relate to that category and then I order it by amount, but this is not so important for this case. And I select that I will return many rows, as you can see here. So my query is specified here, my database is connected, and now I can publish my 
flow, my custom flow. And now when I return back to uh, Flutter flow and view call this query, I can see that I received data from API flow. What I need to do next, I prefer to use data types to work with data returned from APIs. So I go to data types and we'll create a new data, data type. I will call it sales stats. Let's create it. And what we have here is you remember we have here a response. We have category and we have amount. Category is category is uh, string data and amount. It actually returns uh, return it as integer, but I will use double because in case if we will have some, you know, not integer data in database and etc. So now we have our sales stats data type and we go to API calls, response and test, and we'll mark here parse result as data type and select sales stats data type. And next what we need to do Select that this is a list. It's a list. And now we save our API call. Okay, we finished with setup of our backend. Now we can query data. It will be automatically converted to a data type of sales stats. And we have here home page uh, in this home page. I place the chart inside the row. I little bit uh, changed the layout of it, but we will work with this page. So now I will specify a query, backend query. I will add it to page level because it's much simpler than work and add different components and reuse same query results. So I will use can query here. API call, get sales stats, confirm I do not have any uh, any variables for this query. So I will use this query as data source. Now I select my chart as you can see and select numbers list as a data source type. And for legend labels, I will use get sales stats response as data type, map list items, items in list. I need to edit this and I want to use field for my label. So I use data structure field as an option and category. I confirm this confirm my changes uh, and next I need to set section values. So I use get sales stats response as data type, map list items, edit item in list, data structure field, amount. Confirm. confirm. What we want to do next, maybe we want to show our values as we, we have legend, the legend, and we want to show section label type as percent here. So we will see how many of different categories we sold in person. Our app is ready, like it's all we need to set up. And we run a test here. It will be ready in a moment. So short recall what we did. We connected our MySQL table to API flow. Then we connected API flow to Flutter flow via API call here, we created a custom data type called sales stats, 
created the fields for it, mapped result of our response to this data type, created page layout, connected chart to result of data query, and mapped labels to fields and values to fields. Now we wait until the session will load. Lots now. And as you can see, we have here materials, electronics, fruits, and vegetables. And we have this chart here. So we received result of our custom query from MySQL. And this chart is based on that data. Thank you for your attention. I hope this will be visible, uh, valuable for you. Please check other videos on our channel, how to use MyScale with Flutterflow, how to use different services with Flutterflow, using API flow, and you can set up connection with many services in just a few weeks. Have a nice day.